okay let's customize our first uh, login page and we know where it is under the sources views and under the auth directory and we have our login and register so when we click on uh, login so it extends the layouts which is app and here our in the layouts we can see this layout is extended in this our login registration and uh, if i change the web.php again from login layouts to welcome and we can see this layout is extended so login page is of this so it's using a a block so under block mm, bootstrap model and we log in a registration so app layout is being used by this and if we change the layouts from app to our newly created layouts which is auth app and we have set our background for newly auth app so we can see the changes so refresh and hit login so see now this is using the auth log okay uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, a login frame login farm so let me change it back to app and we can see what field in our login form so login and we have login and registration the dialog box okay we need uh, content under section content good container in a row justify content center So this is a column MD8 and we will set it to set the offset column small offset 2 and change it from MD to small and we have a card and call is login card body we will change it to from this class Um, card to panel bootstrap panel panel default and and this div to panel header panel heading and we will give the name login and the card body will be changed to panel body so 
this is a bootstrap classes for panel creating div class panel body in a panel body we will require a form method post action route login so this is the default that way and crs field okay let's see the change so we have a now login and email address password so some changes is being we can also use like at this way csrf field this same thing either you can use that way add sign and with the add sign will not require row form group label for email class class small four column form label uh control form label and this will be the email address okay change it to small input type email type email class form control name email value all required okay so if error because error so error every view in a lot of will have a default array of error so we can show their error that this is a helper function for errors has and if the array of error has the email name with email so display it uh, in a span and invalid feedback so you may use a help block of a bootstrap so the error will be error first first is also helper function and we are getting from array of error only the first that which match the name email and it will display the error okay invalid feedback from to class help which is also bootstrap class block so it's a very boring stuff when you customizing the um, thing so if it will take some times or when you have we have to do it okay for another farm group and we will not require a row label password class md which is change it Uh, control D to select all MDs and change it to small. Text small, right? Not required. This one, and we have to show the password label. So ID is password, type is password, class form control, and name is password. And 
remove this name password required if error has password class help block and where form control not required okay and now in the par our remember control d to select md i will change it to small and input type checkbox name remember all field and if old if there is an old field or uh, value of the old remember so if it is true so checked it otherwise uncheck it so this is the conditional turn re operator that we have laravel has used and we change it to remember me Remember B, and okay, we have for our button. So farm group and not required these classes. Farm group. Small small eight offset small four okay button type submit class button required a primary and uh, we will use our login and uh, login button here is the link for for button password button button link h reference route password dot request okay forget your password. change it to only forget your password okay let's check it refresh so we have this form of our layout so when we style this layout hopefully we will get it Okay, layout start auth app remove it uh, on the row column small eight column small offset two panel panel default and a div for panel panel default. Uh, and uh, under this panel so when we switch so under this panel we required a panel head which is a panel heading login and panel body so panel heading login and the panel body which is or include a form so form class and we will set it a form class is form horizontal horizontal and method is post action is root login and save it okay another one div for form group to use for email so we have a label for email and input field for email and we are displaying the error message 
In the same way, we have a form group for password, a label for password, and input field for password. Also, we are displaying password. And the end, a form group for button. Remember me, sorry. Uh, just input field, remember me to check, uncheck. So if there is a value for remember name, attribute name, so keep it checked, otherwise unchecked. And we have a, lastly a farm group button, so which is a login primary button bootstrap button button primary. And so forget your password, we are uh, giving a link to a password dot request. And let's now refresh it. So nothing is to be displayed, but hopefully we will get it. <clears throat> 